somewhere as it goes to summer. What we're going to look at right now on this windy, cloudy day is a Pocketbook Basic 2. It's an e-ink e-reader with a 6-inch screen, 800 pixels by 600 pixels. It's not touch sensitive, there are buttons. I'll turn it on. At the bottom, I should point out, USB, micro SD, and the on off button. First thing we have here is recent events with four options on the box. Let's look at the recent events first. Books that are in the process of being read, have been downloaded, etc. etc. And there we go the down button for the next page up to make the text larger down to make it smaller you also have settings for the line spacing the fonts or the, or the usual kind of things You can make notes, and usefully, if you're used to using a tablet, you can rotate. Notes appear there. You cannot add notes except through a book. Applications. Now, this is some interesting things in here. We'll start with the browser. It's a single screen, non-tabs, somewhat crashy browser, which I think is based upon Midori. I'm way away from the house, so this takes a while. I'll come back to you. That book you saw earlier was a freebie from Smashwords, which is here. The device itself is actually a proper little computer. It runs an ARM processor at 1 GHz, 256 MB of RAM, 4 GB of flash, and you can see uh, the keyboard is, how shall we say, functional but you wouldn't ever be writing an email with it. I can't imagine writing notes to be honest. Thankfully this program that I'm using actually remembers things that I typed in earlier, which makes it simpler. Being an A13, it's an all-winner A13 ARM7 class processor. But its main function is to be an ebook, and at that, it does quite well. So I'll enjoy this and um, see you later.